نحمد و نسلی علی رسول کریم اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شرح لی صدری و یسر لی امری و احل العقدتم من لسانی یفقہ قولی و جعل لی وزیر من اہلی اللہم فکرنا فی الدین رب زدنی علما اللہم انی اسألکا علما نافیا رزقا طیبا و عملا متقبلا آمین سم آمین السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ ٹرانسلیشن سورہ البقرہ ورس ٹوئنٹی سکس ان اللہ انڈیڈ فور شور اللہ لا یستحی لا نو نوٹ نیور یستحی حیا یا means to be to have shame to be shameful or ashamed the ya at the start signifies that this is an imperfect verb by the third person masculine singular la yastahi allah does what he is not ashamed he does not feel ashamed an that yadriba zwad ba to set forth to present to explain this is an imperative verb for the third person masculine singular yadriba that he sets forth he explains he presents mafalan an example any example or a example ma of who or of the one ya like or even baruz watan this is the arabic word for a mosquito yadriba he explains masalan an example ma ba'uzatan of a mosquito fama thus or then ma something fawqaha fawqa means above on top of upper part fawqaha above it fa'amma thus or then as for allazina those who amanu who have believed hamza mean noon to believe it is a past perfect for the third person masculine plural because you you see wow and alif at the end allazina amanu those who have believed fayalamuna ain lam mean to know, to have knowledge, to learn. Fasabarfa means thus or then. Ya shows it is an imperfect verb. Waunun makes it the third person masculine plural. Faya lamuna. Thus they know. Thus they will have knowledge. Annahu. That indeed. Who it is what al haqu is all truth mir rabbi him min from rabbi lord sustainer him there repeating the verse in allah indeed of a sure allah la yastahi he is not ashamed ay yadriba that he sets forth or he explains masalan an example of ma ba'uzatan of a mosquito or any mosquito fama fawqaha or what is above it on top of it fa amma allazina amanu then those who have believed fa ya'lamuna then they know annahu that indeed 
it is al haku all truth mirwabbihim from their lord wa ammal ladina kafaru and as for those people kafaru who have disbelieved fa yaquluna fa zabr fa das or then yaquluna qala means to say yaquluna they will say mada what it is an interrogative now mada what arada ra wa dal to intend to plan to have a planning or to make an intention or to have an idea maza aradallah what did he intend what he planned what he intended allahu bihaza with this mathalan example yuzwilu the root word is wad lam lam to misguide to go astray or to be misguided this is the ya at the start shows that it is an imperfect word for the third person masculine singular <coughs> yuzwilu he will let go astray he will misguide be he with it kasiran many wayahdi and he will guide be he with it kasiran many wama and not yuzwilu he will misguide be he with it illal fasikin other than or except al fasikin fa sin qaf fisk is to aggressively obstinately defiantly disobey or transgress fasik is a person who is a disobedient or who is a transgressor fasikin is plural for that so fasik is the singular fasikin and fasikun is both the plural form for that and who are the fasikin allazina those who yanquzuna nun qaf zawd to break to breach to discontinue or disconnect ya makes it an imperfect verb waw nun shows that it is for the third person masculine plural il qizuna they break ah billahi ah means the promise the pact or the covenant ah billahi the covenant of allah min ba'di min means after or from uh, mim means from ba'di after mi sa'ihi waw sa'qaf wasaka means to strengthen to give to make something stronger to make something more more powerful or to rectificate something misatihi is its rectification is its strengthening so if you relate it with the previous words yanquzuna ahdallahi min ba'di misakihi they break the covenant of allah from after its rectification after strengthening it wa yaqtu'una wa and yaqtu'una qaf ta'in to cut to separate ya shows it is an imperfect verb wa nun shows that it is for the third person masculine plural 
yakda una they cut they separate wayakta una and they cut or they separate what ma amarullahu bihi ma what amara he has ordered hamza mim ra means the order or the command it is a past perfect verb for the third person masculine singular he has ordered who has ordered amarullah allah has ordered bihi with it an that you swala wow swad la is to join is to mix is to gather is to collect you swala imperfect word for the third person masculine singular he unites that it should be united be joined be collected be gathered va yufsiduna wa and fasin dal means corruption and malice yufsiduna the imperative verb for the third person masculine plural yufsiduna they cause malice they spend spread corruption where fil arzi in the earth in the land ulaika those are hum they al khasirun kha sin ra hasara means the loss khasir is the one who is the loser khasirun is the plural of khasir al khasirun are the losers now repeating their swears allazina yanqizuna those are those who break or discontinue ahdullahi the covenant of allah min ba'di mithaqihi after from after its ratification after strengthening it wa yaqtauna and they cut off ma what amarullahu allah has ordered be he with it i use allah that they be joined they be collected they be united wa yufsiduna and they spread corruption they cause malice fil arzi in the earth in the land ula ikahumul khasirun those are they they are those who are the losers kaifa this is an interrogative word kaifa how takfuruna kafara to refuse to disbelieve ta makes it an imperfect verb in vowel noun show that it is for the second person masculine plural takfuruna you disbelieve billahi with or in allah wa kuntum and you were amwatan mada means to be dead amwatan you were dead fa ahyakum haya ya means life <coughs> fa das or then ahya is a perfect word for the third person masculine singular he gave life fa ahya he gave life kum to you fa ahya kum then he gave life to you summa then you me to kum ya makes makes it an imperfect verb an imperfect verb for what he will cause death to you mata means to die you me to he will cause death kum to you summa then you ye kum hayaya is again mean, meaning giving life you ye he will give life kum to you summa then 
ilaihi ilai towards he him turjauna ra jim ain to return ta shows it is an imperfect verb for the second person masculine and vowel noun shows it is a plural form turjauna you will be returned kaifa takfuruna billah how can you disbelieve in allah wa kuntum and you are or you were amwatan dead fa ahyakum thus he gave life to you suma then you meet to kum he will cause death to you suma then you ye kum he will give life to you suma then ilaihi towards him turjauna this is not an active form this is a passive form of the imperfect verb turjauna you will not return you will be made to return huwa he allazi is the one who halaka Holam kaf means to create, and it is a past perfect verb for the third per third person masculine singular. Holaka, he created lakum for you, ma what fil aruzi in the earth in the land jamiyan all summa then summa stawa then he turned then he established. ila towards asma'i the heavens fasawahunna sawa means to correct to put in the right order to put in the correct manner to fashion or to design correctly fasawahunna hunna is the pronoun for the third person feminine plural fasawahuna and he fashioned them and he put them in the correct order what sab asamawatin sab means seven samawatin is the plural for heavens seven heavens wa huwa and he bi kulli with or of every shayin thing alimun is all knowing now repeating this last verse ho walazi he is the one who halaka he created lakum for you ma fil arz what is in the earth jami an all of it so mastawa then he turned then he established ila samai towards the heaven fasawahunna then he placed them in the correct order or in the correct manner or he fashioned them saba samawatin as seven heavens wa huwa and he bi kulli with everything shay in thing is alimun is all knowing now I will repeat the verse from twenty-six to twenty-nine. So, if any one of you has missed any part of the translation, you can complete it again. In Allah, indeed, Allah la yastahi is not; He is not ashamed. Ayyadriba, that is, He explains or He sets forth, masalan, an example, ma baruzatan of a. mosquito any mosquito fama fawqaha or what is or something above it fa amma allazina amanu then or thus for those who have believed fa ya'lamuna thus they will know or they know annahu that for sure he al haqqu 
is all truth may rub be him from his lord wa ammal ladina kafaru and as for those who disbelieve fayaquluna thus or then they will say mada what arad allah intended allah planned allah bihada by or with this masalan example yuzwilu he will misguide he will let go astray be he with it kasiran many wa yahdi and he will guide or he guides be he with it kasiran many wa ma yuzilu and he will not misguide be he with it illa al fasikin except or other than the disobedience or the transgressors allazina those who yanquzuna they break ah wallahi the covenant of allah the promise of allah mim ba'di from after me sa tahi its ratification its strengthening wa yaqtuuna and they cut off and they separate ma what amarullah allah has ordered be he with it ayuswala that they be joined or they be united wa yufsiduna and they spread corruption and they cause malice fil arzi in the earth or in the land ulaika those are they al khasirun the losers kaifa takfuruna how can you disbelieve billahi in or with allah wa kuntum while you were amwatan dead fa ahya kum then he gave life to you summa then you meet to kum he will cause death to you summa then you ye kum he will give life to you summa then ilayhi towards him turjauna you will be returned you will not return you will be returned who are he allazi is the one who halaka he created lakum for you ma fil arzi what is in the land or in the earth jamian all summa then istawa he turned ila towards asmaa'i the heavens fasawahunna and then he fashioned them and then he put them in the right order what order sawa samawatin the seven heavens wahuwa and he be kulli with every shayin thing alimun is all knowing sadaqallahu azim